What's up Potato Gang? It's your boy Mr. Potato back with another video. Today, we're diving deep into the world of myths, those little nuggets of misinformation we've all heard a million times. You know like cracking your knuckles gives you arthritis, or that goldfish only remember things for 3 seconds. We're gonna bust these myths wide open with some cold hard facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and lets me know you guys are enjoying these myth-busting adventures. Plus, we have a membership offer, and we're running a giveaway soon of a $50 Amazon gift card. That's right, free money just for hanging out with your favorite potato. So buckle up, smash that like button, and get ready to have your mind blown as we debunk 10 myths you probably still believe. First up, let's talk about that brain of yours. Ever heard that humans only use 10% of their brain power? Yeah, that's about as true as saying pineapples belong on pizza completely bogus. This myth has been around for ages and nobody really knows where it came from, but here's the truth. Brain scans show that we use our entire brain even for simple tasks. Think about it, if 90% of our brain was just sitting there unused, wouldn't evolution have gotten rid of it by now? The truth is, different parts of our brain are responsible for different functions. Your brain is a powerhouse, firing on all cylinders, all the time. So, next time someone tells you you're only using 10% of your brain, you can tell them that's just bananas. You're using 100% of your amazing, complex, and wonderfully weird brain. Next up, we're tackling the age-old saying, blind as a bat. I mean, come on, have you ever seen a bat's eyes? They're tiny. It's easy to see why people might think they can't see. But guess what? Bats aren't blind at all. In fact, some species of bats have pretty decent eyesight, especially for nocturnal animals. So how do they fly around in the dark without bumping into things? They have a superpower echolocation. Bats emit high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects, and they use the echoes to create a sound map of their surroundings. It's like having built-in night vision goggles. Think of it like this. Imagine throwing a tennis ball in a dark room. You can tell where the walls are by listening to where the ball bounces. That's basically what bats do, but with sound instead of tennis balls. Pretty cool, right? So, the next time you hear someone say blind as a bat, you can set them straight. Bats may not have 20-20 vision, but they're definitely not blind. Okay, this next one is a classic. We've all heard the myth that goldfish have a three-second memory span. Poor little goldfish, doomed to a life of forgetting what they ate for breakfast, or even that they ate breakfast at all. But guess what? This myth is about as accurate as a goldfish trying to ride a bicycle. Scientists have actually conducted studies that show goldfish can remember things for months. In one experiment, goldfish were trained to associate a certain sound with feeding time. Months later the goldfish still remembered the sound and would swim to the surface expecting food. That's some impressive memory for a creature that fits in a bowl. So why do we think goldfish are so forgetful? Well, they're small. They live in a relatively unchanging environment. And let's be honest, they don't have the most expressive faces. But don't underestimate these little guys. They're packing some serious brain power under those shiny scales. Chapter 4. Cracking knuckles, harmless habit or arthritis time bomb? Let's talk about a myth close to my knuckles. Cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis. Grandma probably told you this, but grandma's wrong. The popping sound is gas bubbles bursting. Think of it like popping bubble wrap. No evidence it causes arthritis. Arthritis is caused by inflammation and wear. Cracking knuckles is harmless. Your joints are safe, I promise. Chapter 5. The Great Wall from Space Myth Busted. Time for a cosmic myth-busting adventure. This one's about the Great Wall of China, one of the most impressive feats of engineering in human history. It's massive, it's ancient, and it's at the center of a popular myth that it's the only human-made structure visible from space. Sounds pretty cool, right? Except, it's not true. While the Great Wall is incredibly long, it's not that wide. From space, it's practically invisible to the naked eye. Astronauts have confirmed this, saying they can't pick out the Great Wall from orbit without the help of high-powered cameras. Think about it. You can barely see a single ant from a few feet away, let alone a thin wall from hundreds of miles up in space. It's all about perspective. Now there are some things you can see from space, like cities at night with their bright lights, large dams, and even some major highways. But the Great Wall, as impressive as it is, doesn't make the cut. Chapter 6. Lightning strikes twice and three times and... Lightning never strikes the same place twice. We've all heard that one before, right? 
It's usually said to comfort someone who's going through a rough time, implying that bad luck won't strike the same person twice. But in reality, this myth is about as reliable as a weather forecast from a fortune cookie. Lightning doesn't play favorites. It's a force of nature and it goes wherever it wants, whenever it wants. In fact, there are places on Earth that get struck by lightning incredibly often. The Empire State Building, for example, gets hit by lightning an average of 25 times per year. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Lightning is attracted to tall, conductive objects, so it stands to reason that the same places are more likely to get struck again and again. So, the next time you hear someone say, lightning never strikes twice, you can tell them that Mother Nature doesn't play by those rules. Chapter 7, Dinosaurs and Humans, A Prehistoric History Lesson. This next myth is a bit more Jurassic. You know, the one where humans and dinosaurs roamed the earth together like some kind of prehistoric buddy comedy? Yeah, that's about as accurate as a T-Rex trying to do a crossword puzzle. The truth is, dinosaurs died out around 66 million years ago. That's a really, really long time ago. To put it in perspective, if the entire history of the Earth was compressed into a single year, humans wouldn't show up until the last few minutes of December 31st. Dinosaurs, on the other hand, would have gone extinct sometime in October. So, unless your family tree includes a time traveler or two, it's safe to say your ancestors weren't sharing tea and crumpets with a stegosaurus. The only place you'll find humans and dinosaurs hanging out together is in the movies. Let's talk about sugar the sweet stuff that fuels our candy cravings and sends kids bouncing off the walls. Or so we thought. The idea that sugar makes kids hyperactive is so ingrained in our culture that it's practically gospel. But is it actually true? Well, numerous studies have been done on this topic and the results are pretty clear. There's no evidence that sugar causes hyperactivity in children. That's right, it's a myth. So why do we believe it? Well, for one thing, we often give kids sugary treats at parties and celebrations where they're already excited and likely to be running around. We then associate the sugar with the hyperactivity, even though it's the environment and excitement that are the real culprits. It's also worth noting that our expectations can influence behavior. If parents believe that sugar will make their kids hyper, they might be more likely to perceive their kids' behavior as hyperactive after they've had sugary treats, even if there's no real difference. Okay, this next myth is the stuff of nightmares. You know the one. The idea that we swallow an average of eight spiders a year in our sleep, just the thought of it is enough to make your skin crawl. But fear not, my friends, because this myth is as bogus as a $3 bill. First of all, spiders are not suicidal. They're not going to willingly crawl into a dark, moist cave that's breathing and snoring. They're much more likely to build their webs in a nice, quiet corner and wait for some unsuspecting flies to come along. Second, we humans are not spider magnets. We're large, warm-blooded creatures that vibrate when we breathe and sleep. To a spider, we're probably more intimidating than inviting. They're much more likely to scurry away from us than towards us. So, rest assured, you're not swallowing spiders in your sleep. You can sleep soundly tonight, knowing that your eight-legged roommates are more interested in catching flies than catching a ride on your uvula. And finally, let's address a myth that's a little bit creepy, a little bit fascinating, and a whole lot of wrong. The myth is this, that our hair and nails continue to grow after we die. It's easy to see why people might believe this. After all, when we see pictures of deceased individuals, it often looks like their hair and nails have gotten longer. But the truth is, it's an illusion caused by the dehydration of the body after death. As our bodies lose moisture, the skin retracts, making the hair and nails appear longer. It's like pulling on a sweater. The sweater itself doesn't get any bigger, but it stretches out, making it seem larger. So, while it might seem like our hair and nails are growing in the afterlife, it's just a trick of biology. Our bodies are amazing, even in death, but they don't possess the magical ability to keep growing hair and nails after we're gone. And there you have it, Potato Gang. 10 Common Myths Officially Busted. Hopefully, you learned something new today, and maybe even had a few laughs along the way. Knowledge is power, and now you have the power to impress your friends with your newfound myth-busting skills. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our membership for exclusive content. And remember, our $50 Amazon gift card giveaway is coming soon, so stay tuned. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and most importantly, stay potato-licious.